And now evaluating the decision to use concurrent processing in solving a problem. And you will note that you know they're really not asking you to get into uh, the code here. But if you knew how to do this, hmm. Well, the first thing I would say in terms of evaluating whether concurrent processing should be used is, nah, don't bother because <laughs> these aren't going to take that much time. You only use threading and multi-threading when you've got these things you're going to crunch away and you don't want to have one crunch away and just use one part of the processor when you've got three or four things that could be crunched away at the same time and if you have a quad core whatever i5 whatever kind of processor that supports multi-threading then why not if you've got all these things that are going to take a little while you know more than a second but going to take seconds or minutes to process then why wouldn't you uh, implement it. Uh, the answer why you don't in this case is that all this is going to happen in a, under a second. It's not that big of a deal and it would be more trouble than it would be worth because you'd have to do the programming for it. But you could, on the other hand, evaluating whether or not you could. Yeah, you could. Probably shouldn't in this case. What else have we got here? Uh, there's no concurrency that could, ha could happen here because there's only one method. Here, same thing. Uh, Multi-threading could not occur because this is just one procedure. It's not a bunch. And here, not really. So you're really only looking at using multi-threading and concurrency when you've got a bunch of methods that uh, the order in which the call doesn't matter and they can all happen at the same time.